Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'm so excited because the other day I posted a photo of a client of mine and I created this really fun knotted mohawk. So on my model Kendra here, I went ahead and replicated it. And what I like about this too is that Kendra's hair is actually mid-length and my client's was actually really long. So it shows you girls a little bit of a variety there with the ways that you can finish it for medium to long hair. So anyways, I just adore this style and I know you girls will too so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so my model Kendra's hair is second day old, so it definitely has a little bit of texture to it, so it's perfect for this hairstyle. So all I'm gonna do is create a square section on top. So I'm basically gonna take my pointer fingers and at her hairline, just pull back my fingers a little bit, section off the hair, creating a square section. So I wanna see a little bit of volume at the top, so I'm just simply going to take the section of hair and all I'm gonna do is slightly twist it and then push it forward and then I'm just gonna secure it with a bobby pin. So now I'm just gonna do a center parting here and now I'm just gonna take a section of hair from each side and just using my pointer finger, so this just is about two inches here and I'm simply just going to pull it back, bobby pin it right here, and then I'm gonna start my knotting technique. This is just gonna really help give us a nice, sleek, smooth look on the side. I'm gonna repeat that on the same thing on the other side. Now that I've secured bobby pins on both sides, all I'm gonna do is take that section up divide it in half. Now I'm gonna create a knot. So basically taking our sections and simply doing a basic, simple knot. I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna have my model hold these for me. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing with these other sections around the face. And the only reason why I'm um, bobby pinning the sections around the face, because I want it a little bit more sleeker and tighter to the head, just around the face area. Now that I've created a nice sleek um, section here, I'm gonna continue um, knotting it. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is divide this section in half, incorporate our previous sections now, and now I'm gonna repeat that technique and do another knot. Now we've created another knot in there. So I'm gonna have my model hold on to these strands. And now I'm gonna create another section of hair. I'm just taking my pointer finger across the back of her hair, dividing the hair in half, incorporating the side hair, and repeating that same technique. So do, just doing a basic knot. So I'm just repeating the same technique, took the sections and created a nice knot. All right, now I'm gonna take our last section and do the same thing. I'm just gonna keep on continuing knotting it until we get to the very ends. And then I'm gonna secure the ends with an elastic. All right, so what we're gonna do now is take the ends of her hair and simply just tuck it into the updo and secure it with a bobby pin. So now after this, we're gonna do some detailing out. She has a lot of layers in her hair, but I kinda like it because it kinda gives it a little, a little bit more of an editorial feel. So now I'm just gonna plump them up a little bit and just drape them, hide any bobby pins that we need to, especially the ones on the sides, and then add a little bit of um, a texturizing product just for a little bit more oomph and just finish it out here. 
All right, so there you girls have it. It's so gorgeous. All I'm gonna do to detail it out is just put a little bit of hairspray, smooth any flyaways away, and now the fun part begins because I'm gonna actually start tearing this apart and show you guys how just kind of pulling it, massaging the hair out will make it a little bit more different feel and more editorial. So this is my favorite. So we've made it all beautiful. Now we're just gonna rough it up. So we're just gonna seriously just pull on it, rough it up just a little bit, some of her layers are coming out, but I'll just go ahead and tuck those in and bobby pin it. And you can tell that it's creating this really big knotted style at this point. It's really, really fun. And now I'm just gonna take the palms of my hands and just rough up this texture. Now I'm just gonna pull the front out too to make it really, really big. So this would definitely be more of a runway style. You can see that I've pulled out her hair. I'm just gonna add a couple more bobby pins just to um, finish up with the loose ends. And that's basically it. It gave it a really fun kind of full updo. So I hope you girls enjoyed it. And for tutorials every single week, please subscribe to my channel and feel free to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I got it all. My links are gonna be below and I'll see you guys soon.